Hi, I'm Katie Judd, a therapist at the Counseling and Testing Center. Today I'll be discussing mindfulness and mindful meditation. I hope to give you some information about what mindfulness is and how it can be useful in your day-to-day -day life. We'll even do a quick mindfulness exercise to give you a sense of what it feels like to be mindful. Throughout this presentation, try to remember that mindfulness is a practice, so it may take a little time to get used to using it regularly. All right, let's get started. Most of us feel overwhelmed at least once in our lives. We all get stressed out. We feel pressured or crunched for time. And if you're a college student, my guess is you felt these things more than once. Maybe more than once just today. When we get that stressed out feeling, we sometimes feel like our minds are full. Full of plans, full of worries, full of thoughts that are running all over the place. You're eating dinner, but you're not tasting the food because you're thinking about a test you have to take. You're walking to class, but you miss how nice the sun feels on your face because you're focused on a fight you had with your parents. Even when we're not stressed, our minds have a tendency to wander away from what we're doing in the here and now. This can leave us feeling unsettled. Mindfulness and mindful meditation can bring that sense of calm back into day-to-day -day life. It brings us into the present moment and allows us to take a break from those runaway thoughts. So, as we continue the presentation, we'll talk more about how to pull away from the experience of a full mind and work toward mindful experience. So, how do we start doing mindful meditation? First, it helps to know what it is. Mindful meditation combines the experiences of being mindful and meditating, and it all revolves around attention. Mindfulness is paying attention to the present moment, on purpose, and without judgment. It's centering yourself in the here and now and directing your attention to each moment as it arises. Most importantly, being truly mindful involves avoiding judgment of your experience. Rather than viewing your experiences as good or bad, mindfulness simply says it is what it is. Meditation, like mindfulness, involves intentionally regulating attention from moment to moment. So putting the two together is pretty easy because they're already closely related. Now that we know a bit more about what mindfulness is, let's briefly review what it is not. First, mindfulness is not a relaxation technique. Though relaxation often increases through mindfulness, it's not necessarily a goal. It's possible to feel anxious, agitated, or sad, and still be mindful. Mindfulness isn't the same as hypnosis. Hypnosis often involves dissociating from experience and becoming more suggestible. Mindfulness focuses on fully participating in moment-to-moment -moment experience and being very active in directing attention. Mindfulness is not a personality trait. There aren't mindful people. Instead, mindfulness is a practice. Anyone is capable of being mindful. Additionally, though mindfulness may help us clear away some of the mental clutter, it's not a process of clearing the mind. When we are mindful, we are focusing the mind rather than clearing it. And finally, mindfulness is not an end goal. There is not a point at which you can say, I've reached the peak of mindfulness, because mindfulness is, by its definition, a continual practice. There is no stated end goal. So, why would you want to practice mindfulness? First, it reduces suffering. Suffering often increases when we get lost in our thoughts or emotions. By focusing attention on the here and now, we can reduce that sense of suffering. Mindfulness also increases mental clarity and improves concentration by getting rid of some of the mental clutter and promoting focused attention. Mindfulness often results in a sense of inner peace and it can generate calm and relaxation. And finally, mindfulness can help you learn to actively respond to stressful situations rather than reacting without thinking. Mindfulness allows us to pick a response instead of reacting automatically. And now, let's take a few minutes to practice being mindful. We'll do a simple breathing-focused meditation that you can do in five minutes at home. First, find a comfortable posture, planting your feet firmly on the floor, hands laying gently in your lap, and closing your eyes, or gently resting your gaze on a spot on the floor or a spot in front of you. Now, begin to notice the sensations of breathing just observing what your body does naturally, the cycle of inhale and exhale. Mm. 
Maybe you notice how your chest or stomach expands when you inhale. You might notice the temperature of the air or the sensation of air leaving your body when you exhale. Try to follow your breath through your nose when you inhale all the way down to your lungs and back up through your mouth when you exhale. Notice where your breath settles. Notice how it feels to breathe. For the next few moments, count each breath in your head, beginning at one and starting over when you get to five. If your mind wanders or you find yourself getting distracted, that's okay. Just notice the distraction and come back to counting your breath. Try to focus on the sensations of breathing with each breath you count, noticing the temperature, the feeling, the motion of the air. If you lose count, just notice that and start back at one. When you're ready, keeping that same focus and concentration, slowly return your attention to the present moment, open your eyes, and return your gaze to the room. The exercise we just did was a breath awareness meditation, but there are lots of mindful meditations to choose from. A quick search on Google or YouTube should bring up lots of options. If breath awareness wasn't for you, take a look at some other meditations. And if you find that it's difficult to meditate when you first start out, know that it's completely normal to have some trouble. It gets easier with practice, and it's okay to adapt your mindfulness practice to work better for you. If 10 minutes is too difficult, maybe try for 5 minutes. If you have trouble sitting still, maybe a walking meditation is for you. Find what you like, find what works, and keep practicing. Since mindfulness does get easier over time, you're likely to reap greater benefits if you practice regularly. Here are some ways you can incorporate mindfulness into your everyday life. You could start by just being mindful of the things you do every day. For instance, when drinking a cup of coffee, you can try to focus only on the sensations and experience of drinking the coffee. This can be done with any daily activity, so it's an easy way to bring mindfulness into your life. You could also create mindful pauses during your day. You can do this by taking a few minutes each day to practice slowing down, attending to your breathing, and being fully present in the moment. If you feel comfortable setting aside bigger blocks of time, you could plan out a mindful activity like meditation, yoga, or art. Or consider downloading a meditation app to learn more and track your progress. Lastly, you can get more support in your mindfulness practice by taking a formal class or going on a retreat. No matter what, the most important thing is to do what works for you. 
Daily mindfulness practice is recommended, but you don't have to start there. Find a mindfulness activity or exercise that you enjoy and try to start doing it more. If you're here at WSU and you want to know more about mindfulness or meditation, feel free to contact us at the Counseling and Testing Center. The CTC offers a number of mindfulness groups, including Keep Calm and Breathe On, held every Wednesday at 1215 in the RSC, and a Tuesday meditation group held in the Heskett Center. For more information, you're welcome to visit us in person at Grace Wilkie Hall, room 320, give us a call at 316-978-3440, or visit our website at www.wichita.edu slash counseling testing. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for updates, mental health tips, and other information. If you have comments or questions about this presentation, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much for your time and attention.